As the season of giving is wrapping up, need is not. Several local nonprofits are making sure they're prepared for the months ahead. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how Fort Wayne groups are getting ready. Food banks across Fort Wayne are packing up their holiday halls. This is the good stuff here. Gary Polk with Associated Churches says a couple timely drives and some extra monetary donations helped wrap up 2022 nicely. This is the time of year when people are more inclined to uh, give because it is the holidays, because it is Christmas, because it is the end of the year and they're looking for a tax deduction. Uh, for, for whatever reason, we, we do see an uptick in donations. A holiday season push will take these nonprofits into the first several months of the new year. But with increasing community need expected in 2023, places like this can't afford to take their own winter break. We're probably a little lower than we would like to be right now. I know uh, it, it, it's probably a cliche, but hunger does not take a vacation or does not take a holiday. Why the lack of the usual surplus? Polk says one major food drive, which Associated Churches typically relies on to stock its shelves, just returned after a multi-year COVID hiatus. And Community Harvest President Carmen Cumberland says this year's high inflation brought even more families to her facility. As we continued through the year up until the holidays, our distributions at all of our sites were up about 70 percent. This is a trend other nonprofits are noticing as well. The Salvation Army reached its Red Kettle goal this week, but Corps Officer Kenyon Civils knows the need to fund community programs is ongoing. We help more in 2022 than we ever have in the past. And while the, the money has come in, uh, we anticipate great needs. He says a large portion of the money used to keep these programs running is raised in the last few months of the year. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. Carmen Cumberland with Community Harvest says volunteers are one of their biggest needs this time of year. And Gary Polk with Associated Churches says there's a high demand for baby food right now and they are struggling to keep up.